So it is day seven. Yeah! And uh, we made it through a week. That's seven in a row. And we're going to do something a little different tonight. I thought maybe, um, since usually my Sundays are about me, I figured maybe I'd turn that around and now my Sundays could be all about you. So today is question and answer time. And my mattress is in my living room. There was a major echo in my last video, so hopefully this will uh, solve the problem. The first question is from Ashley Federley on Facebook, and Ashley asks, in the past six days, what's the most important thing that you've learned uh, or been inspired by? Um, because of the timeline on these videos and um, the amount of work involved in both filming and editing them, uh, I've had to learn that done is better than perfect. Because the truth is, you could continue editing these videos to your heart content and they would never be finished. And so at some point, you have to decide, okay, let's take and let's shift our energy into the next, making the next video better um, versus um, spending more energy on revisions and revising. I tend to overanalyze um, all of my performances, all of my videos, and that's partly because I just really want to grow and I really want to improve. Um, but letting go, a big lesson from this week. Um, and so the other thing that's been inspiring about this project is the amount of growth I've seen from video to video. Um, the things that I learn about lighting and filming and shooting and storytelling, I didn't think we'd be where we're at now uh, by day seven. I thought that it would probably take weeks before we sort of found our rhythm and our stride. Um, so that was surprising and it's also really exciting uh, to know that I can make such exponential progress uh, each week. The other thing that's been really inspiring are the things that you guys have said to me. The questions that you've asked, the, the really uh, nice encouraging notes that you guys have been sending. Um, that actually really keeps me going um, and makes me want to do better and better with these and, and to help you as much as I can, which is really how we ended up with this format today. Hadley asks, what makes you happiest? The thing that makes me happiest is probably performing and sharing just by the mere fact that I'm doing what it is that I love. If that can make someone else question how they spend their time, um, then that's really what makes me happiest. Rita wants to know, when can I make a guest appearance on your vlog? Kyle asks, motivation, question mark. What motivates you and where does it come from? And how do others learn to motivate themselves? Boy, um, this is probably something that I've never struggled with. Um, if you're not motivated, I think that you probably need to figure out what it is that excites you. I mean, for me, the thing that keeps me going is that I'm spending every second of my life doing what it is that I love. And so I think maybe the short answer to that question is to find what it is that moves you. I think that it's probably important to do a little bit of soul searching to figure out when are you happiest? Like pay really close attention to those days that you have where at the end of the day you feel absolutely fulfilled and take a good hard look at what happened in that day to make you feel that way. Bianca asks, how do you determine which audience members are going to join you on stage? This is interesting. So in my current show, uh, all the people who come up on stage are actually chosen at random. Shin wants to know, when is Max Major going to make some golf balls disappear again? That was one of my college buddies insulting my golf game. Next. Trisha wants to know, how do you keep your ego in check with everything you have accomplished? My head would be so big. You're assuming that mine isn't. Ego is something that I have really tried to get a handle on um, over the last couple of years. And I'm not speaking of ego in the traditional sense of sort of being high on myself or, or thinking highly of myself because in fact, there's absolutely nothing wrong with confidence. There is an incredible book about this topic that I think that anyone could benefit from reading. Let me grab it. It is called The Power of Now. Um, this is a book by an author named Eckhart Tolle. Uh, he has a follow-up to that called A New Earth, Awakening to Your Life's Purpose. Um, both of these books um, honestly changed my life. Um, I read um, A New Earth first, actually. I'd recommend you read The Power of Now first. And really what these books are about is sort of freedom from the ego, freedom of that stream of consciousness inside of your head. Um, part of the new earth is about sort of discovering what your true calling is. But really both of these books are about an awareness of the fact that the voice inside your head is not you. It's the awareness of that voice inside your head that is your true self. And it's a really tough topic to sort of um, grapple with, to sort of become unattached from our thoughts and our judgments. But it's a really liberating thing as well. And so 
detaching from the ego at a very deep level has been something that well, obviously I'm still working on, but has had a massive impact on my life. Um, not putting so much pressure on myself, not taking life so seriously, not getting so stressed out about setbacks. And so I would recommend you take a look at both books by Eckhart Tolle, uh, A New Earth and The Power of Now. The next question comes from at Cody Soto on Twitter. Would you ever consider being The Bachelor? Ha ha. Um, yes, call me, Bachelor producers. Uh, he actually asked a bunch of questions, so here go your answers, rapid fire style. No, yes, no, yes, no, no, maybe it's not. Actually, that's not very helpful. Jessica asks, how do you keep your energy up throughout your long, productive days? Um, Jessica, it's actually quite easy. When you're doing something that you love, um, you're always excited. I never really struggle to have energy to do the things that I want to do. The problem is that sometimes when you're not taking care of yourself, that can catch up to you. I think the key to not only being productive but staying productive is taking care of yourself. Meditation, diet, and exercise. But the truth is if you're doing something that you love, you'll never struggle for motivation. So thanks for watching. Week one is in the bag. And if you could take a moment to share this video, that would mean the world to me. I want to try to get the word out about this vlog, I'm putting a lot of energy into these videos and trying to make them as helpful as possible for you guys watching at home. And if you take the time to share the video, I'm going to give away my necklace. I have a couple of these uh, handcuff key necklaces left. Probably got a really sweaty armpit right here. <laughs> and some of these. And one of these. And him. No, I'm just kidding. I wouldn't give you away. And one of these. That's a wrap.